We are 20 seconds out. 15. And let's get ready to count together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! We did it! We begin with breaking news out of Southern California, where a major oil spill off the coast is being called a potential ecological ecological disaster. The leak is about three miles off the coast of Huntington Beach, and experts estimate as much as 100... Good morning from the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. Gunfire and explosions have been heard here and in the second city of Kharkiv shortly after the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, authorized a special military operation in Ukraine's Donbass region and told the Ukrainian we military... We start with some breaking news and the World Health Organization has just released a report estimating that 15 million deaths occurred globally due to the pandemic, around triple the current estimates. It has called the figures staggering. Our global health correspondent Naomi Grimley reports. In the global chaos of COVID... From politics, let's move to plastic. For the first time ever, microplastics have been found in human blood. Blood samples from 22 healthy adults were studied and plastic was found in 17 of them. The microplastics were likely from water bottles, carry bags and food containers. How did they end up in the bloodstream? What are the chances that there are microplastics in your blood too? And should you be concerned about this? We are following the breaking news out of Texas, and it is heartbreaking news. Fourteen students and one teacher are dead, killed, after a shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, just west of San Antonio. That is according to Texas. And on the other side of the world, catastrophic flooding in Pakistan has killed more than 1,000 people. You heard that number correctly, 1,000. Entire villages have been washed away by the floodwaters, and officials say nearly one million homes have been damaged or destroyed. Millions of people have been displaced there. Holly Williams shows us the huge scale of the devastation. These floods are biblical, according to Pakistan's government. More than 30 million... Bottom line, Roe versus Wade is overruled. There is no constitutional right to an abortion in this country anymore as of today. Justice Samuel Alito in, as you say, uh, uh, an opinion that tracks very, very carefully, as far as I can see at this Tonight, point, uh, with scenes the opinion that was leaked, body, the draft opinion, says away. without question it at is time to heed the Constitution and return to the issue of abortion. The Supreme Court sex abuses dating back decades. A grand jury in Pennsylvania just issued its report. It found evidence of more than three hundred. Now, in Afghanistan, the number of people who died in the attacks on Friday in education centers was fifty-three. One hundred and fifty. The U.S. has fierce heat waves in many countries across the continent. Most of the victims are female students while fires are burning in different parts of the continent. And protests in Iran are intensifying over the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini. And as demonstrations there enter their seventh week, many protesters are even calling the movement a revolution. Let's bring in ABC News' Patrick Rivo live.